And 2 News is bringing you team coverage tonight. We begin with 2 News reporter Caroline Morris, who is following up on the governor's orders and how medical experts are reacting. Well, health experts say that they believe that shutting down bars, restaurants, and fitness centers is not necessary to help stop the spread. It could help, but they believe it has more potential to do a lot more harm than good. Benefit does not outweigh the risk of, of shutting everything down. Governor Mike DeWine threatened to shut down the state's restaurants, bars, and fitness centers next week if COVID cases continue to rise in Ohio. But health experts say the spread is coming from elsewhere. We're with family, we take our masks off, we do all the things that we're not really supposed to because we feel, feel comfortable in those gatherings. Those are more likely going to cause some spread than, than going out to a restaurant where they're keeping their social distancing, they have their barriers up. I mean, honestly, I've been to a few restaurants uh, over the last few months and they all seem to be doing a very good job of following the rules and doing what they're supposed to. Under the governor's revised mask mandate, it will be up to businesses to make sure everyone is wearing a mask. Oregon District's yellow cab owners say they have no problem enforcing, but need the community to listen to the rules. Please wear your mask and please follow the guidelines so that way we can stay open. It's not only important for your and my safety, but also it is important for small businesses so that way they can survive and make it to next year after this pandemic. Business owners say Governor DeWine's requests are actually reasonable and it's time for the public to step up. He has been responsive as long as people are willing to comply with guidelines. Really simple requests of mask wearing, social distancing, and just in general being aware of yourself and your surroundings and maintaining healthy habits. The new order just comes two days after record high hospitalization and cases across the state. Live in the Oregon District, I'm Carolyn Morse. Two news working for you.